Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, season 25 has started. This is the first war of the season, and we're going to take a look at their defense and formulate my offense. So, as you can see here, we're going up against an alliance called X Order 66. All right, let's take a look at them real quick here. And let's uh, spectate first. Now, I take path three. And I'm a little late getting in here because uh, I was grinding out uh, Act 6. Uh, but you can see they did not place a defender on the first node. Uh, the second node here is Immortal Hulk. And I've gotten wrecked by him before. But Nick Fury usually does a good job of uh, taking him down. So I will bring in Nick Fury. Another option is Warlock. Uh, so I'm going to definitely bring in Warlock as well. Uh, we got here uh, Hulk Ragnarok. All right. Uh, Warlock can take him out too, if need be. So can uh, Nick Fury. Uh, we probably have someone taking on that Korg, Mixmaster. Um, I'll probably bring in Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, she's going to be able to handle that Colossus. And, um, hmm. Yeah, she can handle that Mephisto as well. Possibly also, um, Warlock uh, might be able to handle... Mephisto, hmm, and Red Goblin, possibly, if, if need be. All right, on uh, Boss Island here. I'm trying to think here. Um, I don't have great answers for any of these. But if I'm needed, um, Black Widow Clairvoyant, if she's still uh, in good shape, can handle some of these. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, all right. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to bring in uh, Warlock, Nick Fury, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, that should handle my path. Um, minis if I need to. And uh, I'll also be able to help um, a little on some of these. Nick Fury can probably take out that uh, mojo if need be. Uh, and if he's still in good shape, he can also help out with uh, the thing boss. All right, so we'll be back. Uh, I will comment over the uh, rest of the war. So I will see you in a moment. All right. As promised, we are back, and we're going to get the fighting started. This is the team that I'm uh, going in here with. As I mentioned earlier, no changes here. All right, so we're going to take path three as we scout it out. Uh, nothing has changed, and we skip past that first defender. Thank you for not putting anyone there. Uh, and we're going to fight, as our first fight, this Immortal Hulk. Now, Immortal Hulk... He wrecked me the first time I ever faced him in war. He was on path one. And I had actually taken path one that war. And he destroyed me. I was not sure what was going on, how I was supposed to kill him. It just wasn't pretty. I have found that doing damage over time seems to work. I'm still not sure. I need to really look into uh, him a little bit more. But I was so disgusted by what they did to my Hulk that I didn't really look into um, this champion at all. So what I normally do is I go in with Nick Fury and I let the bleeds kill him. And that seems to be similar to uh, Punisher. If, you, if he dies to a damage over time, uh, he won't endure. You know, his signature ability doesn't come into play. So what you see me here doing like right here, 
I'm just trying to let the bleeds go down. See, like I backed off right there because I wanted to let the bleeds do their work. And that seems to be working. So we didn't have to worry about him going uh, immortal and then playing keep away while, you know, we waited that mode out. And he would be unblockable during that time. Not a good time, not a good time. All right, so since I didn't fight that first node, of course I decided to go ahead and fight this mini. And it's Gladiator Hulk. Now, I remember back in the day, uh, I normally didn't have a problem fighting Gladiator Hulk. But this one time, he got me good. Uh, I remember it really well, too, because I had fired off a special three. And when the special three animation was over, I mean, before I could do anything, he fired his special one off. Hit me, stunned me, wrecked me. So fast. I actually, you know, well, of course I recorded it and I showed it to my alliance and they were like, wow, that was fast. They, they didn't even have any advice for me. That, that was just, you know, unfortunate timing. He just really um, went super aggressive right there, you know? He didn't back off. He just came up swinging, all right? Hey, I mean, it's Hulk, right? All right, so we got him down uh, without too much difficulty. Uh, pretty straightforward fight. Uh, now we're going to fight uh, Colossus, and you see him here a lot. The first time I saw him here, I didn't realize he was a Corvus trap. So I'm looking on the paths and I'm like, okay, I think I'll uh, use Corvus because I could get the mutant mission there. I had a tech mission earlier. You know, it looked like I could ramp up my Corvus pretty well. And that fight did not go as easy as I thought. I managed to get him down, but it was close. That is not a good fight to bring your Corvus into. Uh, but you know who does do this fight really well? Black Widow Clairvoyant. She is the best that I have for this particular node. Uh, now, I don't know, maybe a Morningstar with her special two might uh, also be good as well, but I don't like Morningstar. Uh, but just look, my uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, he has no armor ups. Now he can't get any armor ups. She's just a beast. Uh, his specials are easy to evade. What makes him a nasty uh, defender on this node is the fact that he gets those armor ups uh, so often. So you want to bring someone in that can nullify those armor ups. All right. So with the armor ups, uh, if you're familiar with that node, uh, they'll remove an armor up to, you know, have, I think, your crit or something like that do no damage whatsoever. I haven't had to worry about that because she nullifies it. Now, here we've got Mephisto. And Mephisto, I remember when he first came out. A uh, friend of mine and also the first subscriber to my channel, Aeon Kong, got him, ranked him up to four, because that was the max you could do at the time, put him in war, and people just quit. We won wars because they just would not fight him. We didn't have a lot of um, uh, counters for him. And he was just wrecking everybody. But Black Widow Clairvoyant, in her uh, Curse of Hellfire, which she's in right now, she's immune to his uh, incinerate. So here I just wanted to push him bait out one because I didn't want him to have any power uh, when I fired my special off. Just in case, just didn't want to deal with anything and her special three does a good amount of damage look at that he would have been dead if it wasn't for his uh, ability all right but look at that he's gone very very versatile and useful champion uh she is the only rank three six star i have that is awakened her awakened ability has come in useful at times but very rarely. She does not really need to be awakened. Um, definitely, if you have her awakened, don't put any six stones into her. All right, so uh, now I'm feeling myself. I, I've taken the section one mini, uh, and now, you know, we're in good shape here. So I'm like, all right, let's take this uh, red goblin as well. 
So the plan here is basically straightforward, do damage with Nick Fury. I've got his, you know, real life still there. So we have a lot of uh, buffer here, all right? But I don't need to worry about the uh, node that's gonna suppress my uh, power because I'm not planning on firing off a bunch of specials with Nick Fury. So uh, he doesn't rely on his specials to do a lot of damage. I have deep wounds maxed out. And as you can see, Nick Fury just tears them up. You know, I, I could fire a special off, but why? No need. So Nick Fury is definitely one of my favorite skill champions, if not my favorite. He just comes in so handy in war. Gives you that nice relaxed feeling, you know, as long as you didn't mess up. Because uh, I could have taken that fight even slower. And the real Nick Fury's not even out. All right, so as I uh, got down to Boss Island here, as you see, they had already cleared everything but the boss, and we had someone coming in who was coming in just to fight that boss. So that was all that I did for this war. Now, at this time, we're pretty sure that we've lost the war. Um, we've died way too many times. This is the first war of the season, you know, so a lot of us are still rusty, but we'll be back after a short intermission and we'll find out how we did. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. Kind of a deja vu because last season, we lost the first war of the season. We are currently fighting war number two at the time of this recording. Uh, and it's looking a little bit better uh, than this one. So that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching uh, the video. Uh, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, congratulations to X Order 66. Good war. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.